Hey Blender Bob here. So you know when you're making your materials in Blender, the image texture that you connect into the base color needs to be in sRGB and everything else needs to be in RAW. And I don't know why Blender is the only software I know that needs to do this. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't do it automatically. Like, hey, if it's connected to the normal, well, it needs to be in RAW, so I will read it as RAW. I don't know. There must be a reason. I don't know why. Anyway, you have to do this. And if you don't do this, you won't get the right results. Now, there are some situations where you can get, for example, an, an FBX or a whatever format from somewhere else. And then when you load it in Blender, well, not everything is set up properly. And that could be a problem. If you have a single asset, yeah, sure. But in my case, it's a little bit complicated. So I got this huge library of plants here. They come from Islandscape and Junglescape from Terrascape. Mind-blowing super iRes quality. And they are one of our sponsors for the Tiki project. Link is in the description. For the purpose of this demo, I voluntarily screwed up the textures. So the diffuse should be in sRGB, but also I put everything that's in the, the specular, the glossiness and the normal maps and all this stuff, also put them in sRGB when they should be in RAW. So you can see I got many plants and each plant has many shaders on them. And this is just one of the plants and I have tons of plants. So that means that I need to open all my plant files and inside there's a few different plants, maybe sometimes six, seven, eight. And for all of them, I need to go through all their shaders and change them all. That would take forever. So I asked my new best friend, ChatGPT, to help me with that. And he created a nice little add-on for me. So with the click of a button, everything will be set the way it's supposed to be. Any texture connected to the base color will be in sRGB and everything else will be in RAW. So you see, easy solution, you click on one button, this way you're sure that everything will be okay. Cool. Now, if you use the cheat to use Blender as Asus, you will see that all the colors will be wrong. So nothing works because everything is set up as Asus CC by default. And because it's an Asus configuration, everything should be set, well, everything except the diffuse, everything should be set to utility raw instead of raw. So click on the magic button to Asus and everything will be set properly. Now, anything connected to the base color will be set to utility sRGB texture and everything else will be set to utility raw. And if your textures are done in ACES CG for some reason, well, there's also a button for that. Just click on the ACES CG button and it will change the sRGB texture here to ACES CG. Now, let's say you need to go backwards, like you need to give an asset to a client that uses Filmic instead of ACES. Well, then if you open it in a vanilla blender, everything will be set to sRGB. So you need to change it back. Well, what do you do? You just press to Filmic and it's going to set everything the way it's supposed to be. The way it works is you have a list of keywords. And if your texture name has one of these keywords in the name, it's going to set it to raw or utility raw, depending on which button you use. And the rest will be set to sRGB or utility sRGB or ACES CG. And before you ask me in the comments, how come I don't have this ACES menu here in the display devices? That's because my Blender is set up to ACES, but it doesn't come with Blender. It's a cheat. You have to make it yourself. There's a link in the description on how to do this. So if you don't work in the professional VFX industry, you don't need ACES, you don't care about it, that's fine, just use Filmic. You're gonna be very happy with it. Uh, thank you, Mark, for helping me with the add-on because we had some little changes we needed to fix. ChatGPT is not always perfect, so uh, we needed to tweak uh, some stuff here and there. And of course, the add-on is available for free. The link is in the description. Bye-bye.